Welcome to 22 Hours channel. We are honored to accompany you on this news program, providing you with the most interesting and up-to-date information. Today, we have some not able news to share with you. Please follow along. Yesterday, U.S. President Joe Biden ordered the military to deploy 20 Farad's 35 aircraft to bomb the Shenyang aircraft carrier of China in the South China Sea as a deterrent to the regime of President Xi Jinping. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the information we have just received, this situation in the South China Sea is extremely tense. Yesterday, at 4 p.m. Vietnam time, the U.S. military sent a fleet of F-35 aircraft and warships to approach China's Shenyang aircraft carrier for encirclement. However, Upon detecting the approach of U.S. F-35 aircraft and warships into the South China Sea, the Chinese Navy dispatched a fleet of escorts, including Coast Guard vessels, reconnaissance ships, and civilian vessels carrying numerous weapons and missiles to protect the Shinding aircraft carrier. In the face of this provocation, the U.S. military directed the F-35 aircraft to drop 30 bombs and launch a series of medium-range missiles at the Shinding aircraft carrier of China. The confrontation resulted in severe damage to the stern of the Shanding, China's aircraft carrier. The initial reason is believed to be China's provocation, as the naval forces of Beijing sent a fleet to protect the Shanding aircraft carrier into the South China Sea to intercept a U.S. cruiser. While the Biden administration was already infuriated by the actions of Xi Jinping's government amid the sweeping COVID-19 pandemic, this situation in the South China Sea added another layer of complexity. In the midst of these escalating tensions, Washington could not stand idle by and watch China act recklessly. Therefore, yesterday, the U.S. military set fire to the Shending aircraft carrier of China to deter the regime of President Xi Jinping and send a strong message to the Beijing government to cease their aggressive actions at a time when the world is struggling to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. Observers argue that China made a grave mistake by sending the Shending aircraft carrier to confront the U.S. Navy. In a time when the whole world is making intense efforts to combat the pandemic, President Tsai's government engaged in territorial invasions and conflicts with neighboring countries. This prompted President Joe Biden's administration to take strong punitive measures against China. One of these measures, reported by the U.S. media, is the recent order by President Biden for the military to deploy 20 Farad's 35 aircraft to continuously bomb China's Shenyang aircraft carrier as a deterrent and a strong response to the Chinese government. According to reports, facing this situation, President Biden is extremely frustrated, losing sleep and appetite. He has expressed his concern that the U.S. has lost billions due to the impact of the Chinese virus. In a recent statement at the White House, President Biden insisted that China must pay a hefty price for allowing the Wuhan virus to cause such a dire situation. Beijing must bear full responsibility for this. President Biden emphasized that the United States will take punitive actions against China instead of some other countries. That's why yesterday we dropped 30 bombs from F-35 aircraft, shattering part of the tail of China's Shanding aircraft carrier in the South China Sea, and the actions taken were just an initial warning. It is known that the United States is planning a major operation to strongly counter China in the coming days. Observers say that many opinions align with the policies of President Biden. He believes that China needs to be taught a lesson for letting the Xi Jinping virus spread, causing harm to countless countries worldwide. Beijing must pay the price for causing so much suffering to humanity. After the Shining aircraft carrier of China was hit by super bombs from the U.S. F-35 squadron, China's foreign ministry spokesperson, Ken Seng, a trusted aide to Xi Jinping, directly criticized the U.S., stating that the U.S. actions were unacceptable. The U.S. will suffer consequences. Ken Seng declared that China would deploy its military to shoot down U.S. F-35 aircraft if the U.S. demonstrated aggression in the South China Sea in the near future. The Southern Daily, quoting China's Defense Minister Ng Gai Fuanghou, stated that China currently has the capability to defeat the U.S. in any aspect because the U.S. is struggling with COVID-19. Ho further stated that China would have assisted the U.S. in controlling the epidemic, but after the F-35 aircraft of the U.S. bombed and destroyed part of the tail of the Shining aircraft carrier in the South China Sea, Beijing would never cooperate with Washington. According to observers, President Joe Biden has been restless in recent days due to the COVID-19 pandemic. He is so angry that he doesn't hesitate to refer to the World Health Organization WHO, as the Xi Jinping virus or the China virus because it originated from China. He explained that this naming is entirely correct 
And now, he believes the U.S. needs to focus intensely on extinguishing the spread of the China virus. Washington will continue to take strong measures against China on all fronts, especially the South China Sea, as the U.S. sees Beijing as a threat to humanity. According to a reliable source, the U.S. Department of Defense is deploying three USS aircraft carriers carrying guided missiles, six B-52 bombers, and 10,000 Marines from a Pacific fleet base on Guam to move into the South China Sea to counter China. This source also reveals that this time, the U.S. will flatten seven artificial islands that China is unlawfully constructing in the South China Sea, near Vietnam's Hong Sa Paracel Islands. The U.S will also destroy all military bases where Beijing is stationing its forces on some islands claimed by President Xi Jinping. In some Southeast Asian countries, the U.S. will continue to provide bomber aircraft for airstrikes, destroying a large airport that China is building in a forested area in Cambodia. Following this, Washington will supply President Tsai Ing-wen of Taiwan with 10 Farad's 35 aircraft and a variety of state-of-the-art weaponry to enable Taiwan to defeat China in the Taiwan Strait. The core issue is that the U.S will encircle all of Beijing's agile vessels operating unlawfully in the South China Sea to protect countries in the region, including Vietnam. According to top military experts worldwide, if the U.S. acts strongly this time, Beijing will be isolated, China will face international isolation, and Xi Jinping's regime will be flattened for the world to live in peace. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just received news that China is conducting military exercises to gain air superiority near Taiwan. On February 17, China deployed its forces for exercises near the island of Taiwan. The country's warships and fighter aircraft conducted maneuvers to the southwest and southeast of the self-governing island, stating it was in response to external interference and provocative actions. Taiwan has repeatedly expressed concerns about mainland China's continuous military drills and increased military activities in the waters near the island over the past two years. This is part of a pressure campaign to force the island to accept Beijing's viewpoint. In a brief statement, the commander of the Chinese military's Eastern Theater Command said that warships, submarines, and fighter jets were deployed near Taiwan to conduct coordinated attack exercises and other drills using actual forces. The statement did not provide further details. A high-ranking official familiar with Taiwan's plans told Reuters that the Chinese Air Force conducted exercises to gain air superiority with J-16 fighter jets. Besides seeking air superiority over Taiwan, they also regularly engage in electronic interference and electronic surveillance activities, the officials said. Taiwan believes that the mainland is attempting to gather electronic signals from U.S. and Japanese aircraft to disable opponents' aircraft, including F-35s, in the event of war, the source added. Taiwan's defense agency reported that 11 Chinese aircraft entered the island's air defense identification zone, including two nuclear-capable H-6K bombers and six J-16 fighter jets. Taipei scrambled its aircraft to intercept the mainland planes. While China's statement did not specify the exact location of the exercises, Taiwan's defense agency said that the mainland's aircraft group operated in the area between Taiwan's main island, the Dongsha Islands, and the upper part of the South China Sea. Some aircraft also passed through the Bashi Channel south of Taiwan, the gateway to the Pacific Ocean. The Chinese military emphasized that the U.S. and Taiwan constantly collude to provoke and send wrong signals, causing serious damage to China's sovereignty and seriously undermining peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. It's unclear what directly prompted China to conduct this round of exercises, but it seems to be related to the United States approving a $750 million arms sale deal to Taiwan earlier this month. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our program for today. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated. We bring you the latest news daily for a cheerful day. Thank you and see you again. Thank you for your attention and support. Please like, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to receive the best day and most accurate update from our channel. Goodbye and see you in the upcoming video.